Hey guys, it's Aceboy here and I'm bringing you another video. And today I'm bringing kind of an update to uh, the How to Play Stick War Legacy on your PC video that I did a while back. Uh, last time I was using Bluestacks and Bluestacks is uh, t pretty bad. I mean, there was tons of crashes, all sorts of terrible stuff. But I did find a new emulator that plays pretty nice as Stick War Legacy. It's called Mimu. There's no crashes or any of that stuff, and it runs pretty smoothly. So, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Stick War Legacy on your PC with uh, Mimu instead of Bluestacks. So, uh, we can just head right into it. Alright, well, first off, you're going to do kind of the obvious thing. You're going to type in Mimu on the search engine, and you're going to click on the first link. Make sure you don't click on something else because there might be like viruses or whatever. So make sure you click the reliable link. I will zoom in on it just so you guys are sure you're clicking on the right one. And then you're going to download it. The download might take a while, but trust me, it'll be worth it. All right, well, once the setup is done, you're pretty much just going to download it, and it gets pretty straightforward from here. Well, after it's uh, all downloaded and installed, you're simply going to go to the Play Store and search for Stick War Legacy, and then from there, I will get on to uh, the setup that makes the game playable on the PC. Now, after Stick War Legacy is installed, simply open it and hop into a game, select a character, and pause it. So from here, we're going to be doing some key mapping. All you're going to do is uh, click this icon right here. It's like the second on the, the little sidebar that you're given. Now, from here, you are uh, given some options and shortcuts. And essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to modify our game slightly so that we are able to play because currently we would have to use the mouse for everything and that simply just won't work. All right, so essentially what I just did there was I made it so the analog stick can be controlled with WASD instead of having to have your mouse control it. So that way you'll be able to move relatively easily with no problems at all as it's very convenient and it's usually the controls of a majority of the computer games. Keep in mind, you can feel free to set these to whatever you want. You just have to click the letter and uh, set it to a different thing and it'll essentially make it so for example if I click the W and click a different letter it'll move up with that other letter or you can use the arrow keys if that's how you like to roll. Alright so now you're going to want to click the attack icon and press spacebar and then click the little defensive icon and press shift. Now essentially what you just did was you made it so that the attack button is triggered by spacebar and the little defensive icon is triggered by shift. So you can see the controls are pretty simple, just WASD to move your guys, spacebar to attack, shift to block stuff. And uh, the controls, they work pretty well with each other, they're pretty easy to reach, there's not really much of a hassle. So uh, now that you have those set, you're going to want to save and then hop into your game. Make sure you press save or else none of your changes will actually take place and you'll have to do it again. And it's a tedious process, just get it right the first time, press save and then it'll be all set. So there you go, guys. That's how you play Stick War Legacy on the PC, uh, version 2.0, I guess. You won't run into any problems. It's not gonna crash or anything like Bluestacks did. It'll run relatively smoothly. Now, there is one slight problem that I do need to uh, let you guys know about before you go along and play, and that is the Sword Jump and the Spear Throw don't really work with the WASD controls. And, uh, it sounds like a huge problem, but it really isn't. All you gotta do is use your mouse to manipulate the movement in order to activate those special attacks. It shouldn't be that big of a deal since you're not using your mouse or your whole right hand anyway if you're using this uh, control scheme that I set up. So every time you want a sword jump or a spear throw, you're just gonna have to use your mouse to get the timing perfectly because the WASD is so cut and like precise, like 90 degree angle, that it won't give you the little slide that you need to actually activate it if you know what I'm talking about but uh, that's a very minuscule problem that can be solved very easily all you gotta do is use your mouse for that and that is the only problem so I hope you guys enjoyed 
please like, comment, subscribe. All the ratings and comments are greatly appreciated, especially the comments. I do read all of them. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below regarding this or anything else, I guess. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.